go. Nobody works like David in this house. 13, come on. 14, come on. 15, shut that muscle down. 16, come on. Get it. 17. They don't know me, son. Get it. 18. They don't know me, son. Get it. 19. They don't know me, son. Yeah. 20, you got some more. Me, yeah. son. 21, yeah, get it again. Come on, we want to see it. Good, 22. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy. Come on, 23. Come on, 24. One more, David. Who's One more. Carry the boats. Last week, 
started taking a toll on me. I usually don't think too much. Get my shoes on, head the fuck out. I've been thinking a lot. That internal voice has been talking to me. Talking about, oh man, you're tired. Looking at my shoes about 30 minutes before I put the motherfuckers on. Pushing back the time of that, that I go out to go run. So I decided to tape record myself. That internal voice I put on tape. Sound like a straight bitch when I listen to that motherfucker. So if you ever have a hard time out there, tape yourself. Listen to what kind of bitch you're being. Stay hard. voices in our mind. I've heard them. I hear them now. <laughs> and they're real. It's that one voice. That voice I used to love to hear, that we love to hear. It's that soft mother. That soft mother voice that says, sleep the in. It's okay. It's that calling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. That says, it's going to be okay. Well, there's another mother voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. Not your girlfriend, but that demon fucking voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, Get up, motherfucker. You're not fucking good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. If that voice you wanna run away from, if that voice you don't wanna fucking hear, but guess what? If that voice you need to fucking listen to, stay hard, listen to the whisper. want to be in special operations. So you have this big dream, you can see it so clearly like it's right in front of you, you can go out and touch it. But the thing about it is somewhere, if you dream big enough, somewhere down that journey, that dream becomes a mother nightmare. And what happens in that nightmare, you start to have all these questions, like if you want to be in special ops, you may not be a great swimmer. You may just realize, I'm not a great swimmer, I'm not a great runner. You may start to fail tests. And all these questions start to flood your mind. Why am I here? I'm not good enough. Trust me, I know all about the questions. They will flood your mind. If you do not have the answers for them, you will quit. The answers lie in the repetitions. So my first run, when I decided to lose the weight, I was, like I said, 297. I was about 32% body fat. And I went, my idea was to run four miles for my first run. I didn't know how bad it's gonna fucking hurt me. I used to run before I was fat, and I was like, fuck it, I can do this. I ran a quarter mile and walked home. I walked home and sat on my couch and cried. I went to my mom's house, who was about maybe 20 minutes down the road, and cried again in her couch, saying, I can't fucking do this shit. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And my mind just kept fucking with me. It kept fucking, you're not good enough, man. This isn't for you, man. These guys are the baddest motherfuckers on the planet Earth. You're not that. If I try to make it all pretty and shit, that's not what my life was. It was a violent, violent struggle daily to get where I'm at today. I'm not going to water it down. I'm not going to water it down. Shit wasn't fun. It ain't fun today. She came back in. All I want to do is call Chris Costner on the phone and raise straight to a bad water inside fucking middle. 
So she said, I'm taking it to the doctor. I said, no, let me sit here and enjoy this pain. She said, what are you talking about? I said, you know, I go, I need to go to the doctor. I realize that. But I never thought it was humanly possible to do what I did. All that pain and suffering and things going through my fucking body as I sat in that tub and, and, and the waters hit me, it was the most amazing feeling of accomplishment. And I want to be numb. I didn't want people to give me drugs and, and to numb this fucking pain. I wanted to, I did this. Weak people hear this soft kid. Oh my God, he must be miserable. Oh my God, what the hell's wrong with him? You're missing the fucking story. You're not listening to the story, man. Look what I overcame. You're missing the story, man. Am I happy? What the fuck do you think? Happiest person in the world. But I'm not done. Not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate it's a Monday, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. <laughs> When Goggins lived with me, his rule is we had to do something every day that sucked. Do you ever wake you up? Every day. Every day he woke you up. Yep. Come in and tap me on the shoulder with Just my wife this. right next to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it wasn't tap and time to do this. It was, my get up, motherfucker. Def operator. Rock the data. Amazing flavor. Yo. The way I feel, sometimes it's too hard to sit still. Things are so passionate, times are so real. It's 
Every time I try to chill, mellow down, blow a smoke A smile on my face, but it's really no joke You feel it in the street, the people breathe without hope They going through the motion, they dimming down the focus The focus get cleared and the light turns sharp And the eyes grow teary, the mind grow weary I speak it so clearly, sometimes y'all don't hear me I push it past the base, no nations got to feel me I feel it in my bones, black, I'm so wide awake That I'm hardly ever sleep. My flow forever deep in this volume The scriptures when I breathe on a beat My presence speak volume before I say a word I'm everywhere, penthouse, pavement, the curb Cradle to the grave, so cathedral of a shell Universal ghetto life, while I black, you know it well Quiet storm, vital form, pen push the brighter course Mind is a vital force, high level writer course Soul is the lion's roll, voice is the siren I swing round, ring out, and bring down the tyrant Chop a small axe and knock a giant lopsided The world is so dangerous, there's no need for fighting The suckers trying to hide like the struggle won't find them Then the sun busts through the cloud to clearly remind them It's everywhere, penthouse pavement the curb Cradle to the grave, talk of each of the shell Universal ghetto life, holla black, you know it well What it is, you know, they know what it is We know, y'all know what it is Ecstatic, there it is Huh, what it is, you know, we know what it is They know, y'all know what it is You know, here it is what it is, you know, we know what it is, they know, y'all know what it is, you know, here it is.
think about the 135 miles of scorching highway in front of you. You're a rookie here, first timer, congratulations. You uh, started at 6 a.m. yesterday and uh, reached the finish line here in 30 hours, 18 minutes, and 4 seconds. Is that a deal? Yeah. <laughs> How was the heat for you? I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you have some blisters. Uh, when did that kick in and what did you do to deal with it? They sucked it up. I didn't take my shoes off one time. I just sucked it up. I just kept on running on it, so it's gonna hurt regardless. I'm not gonna stop and take the Did you sleep? No. Did you stop and rest ever? Or? I went to the bathroom once and I got up and kept on going. Alright. Did you have a time goal coming into it this year? I just wanted to leave everything I had after in that course now. Motherfucker, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could but you didn't? Come on! 15, shut that muscle down! 16, come on! Get it! 17! They don't know me, son! Get it! 18! They don't know me, son! Get it! 19! They don't know me, son! Yeah! Warning, you got some more, yeah. Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy. Come on, 23. Come on, 24. One more, David. One more. to carry the boats. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You did it. Yeah. Refuse to study a few more. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Why the fuck are you out here? I said because you're not. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to fucking do it. Let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made the heaven. 75 years old, 300 pounds. I made the heaven. I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches. That's what I did. I see my name. I see all this shit. And God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. And I'm reading this list. And I'm seeing 182 pounds. Maybe seven. And I'm just going to speak. Okay, man. Pull up record on this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. God looks at me and says, I was bringing you some hope. I was energized, couldn't see 
your eyes, they were up inside When you asked if I could see, I was overrised Sat in overdrive, just to recognize making your bed, not cleaning your house. You don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run, you go run. You don't want to go swim, you go swim. You don't want to make your bed, you make your bed. You don't want to clean your house, you clean your house. You don't want to study, you can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Nice heat wave. Mother Nature's a pissed off motherfucker, but guess what? So am I. So who gives a fuck? Today I was running, and this guy passes me in the car. And it's about 100 degrees out here, 70% humidity. And the guy comes back around, looks at me. He pulls his car by me and says, Why the fuck are you out here? I said, Because you're not. Lost family members. A lot of folks spent a lot of time in the hospital on ventilators. That should have caused a lot of damage in your brain. Folks see how much I work out. And they think I'm running from demons. It's not demons, it's discipline. Like me and think 
saying the same. A lot of us are full of shit. I was one of those people back in the fucking day. And sometimes I'm still full of shit. We think that we're working our ass off, working hard. You know, we've been working out hard in the gym for a month. But we haven't seen any results. So we get all fucking down and poopy pants and shit. You study for 30 minutes for a fucking test. And you didn't do as well as you thought. What the fuck do you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. Those who are in search of a new realm. It's a lonely journey. You're isolated. Those who used to keep pace with you will fall off. They'll see where their world ends and yours begins. Your ability to suffer, endure, outwork must be greater. You must be willing to extend yourself to the limit. With no guarantee of success. Every day, you must ask yourself, did I do enough? Ready? 
evil motherfucker is constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the fucking world that shows up on time every time. It has a tactical advantage over you. It knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. It knows everything about you. It might be the only thing in that world that knows all about you. You gotta know about it. It's gonna show up when you don't wanna show up. It's gonna show up at the worst time possible when you wanna be successful. It's gonna say, take the easy road. Take the easy way out. You gotta learn your brain like your brain has learned you. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody who's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. What are you saying now, Mike? The bike? Every morning, every day of our lives, we have choices to make. You have the choice to stay in bed, to say, forget it, I'm not gonna work out today, or forget it, I'm not gonna work hard today. You always have a choice every single day of your life, so. You know, there comes a day, man, everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening, it makes you wanna throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you, as you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out, or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out. But you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were going to fail. You were scared if you started you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's gonna happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what's gonna happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years making it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the 
what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Um, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. Who fought in these wars, you have no idea how big of a deal this is to me. I was not always this strong guy, you see. Um, I went through a lot of hard times in my life to get here today. What I've learned is that most of the sabotage in your life is self-induced. Hear me out, okay? Most of the sabotage that is self-induced in life is because you do not have the self-regulation to do that which you know you need to do. So you need to be able to ask yourself, right? You know you need to go to the gym. You know you need to start this business. You know you need to read this book, but you don't do it. Why? Why don't you do it? Not, oh, I didn't do it today. No, no, why didn't you do it? Why did you cave to the nonsensical bullshit and the perspective that you're above the grind, you're above the work, you're above the consistency? Because these are the things that are holding you back. We understand that consistency compounds. I've said this once and I'll say it again. But why is it that you know what to do, but you don't do it? Don't just say, oh, because I'm lazy. That, no, no, that's not good enough. Right? No, it's not that you're lazy. Something else is wrong. You need to be able to identify these things. And once you identify these things, you're able to tackle them effectively. Like what, what bothers you about yourself? I just wish I just felt more comfortable in my own skin a lot of times, you know, because I feel like um, I would be able to be more effective as a person if I could just like kind of get a not toil in some of my own, you know, if small self worth issues or mm. like lack of confidence at times. You know, I wish I could trust my instincts, and I wish my instincts were like better calibrated, so that I knew when I was what if I was doing like okay and good stuff, then my insides like told me you're you're being okay. You don't have to worry, you know.